Breaking news today as we join you at 4 o'clock, the city of Dallas can now move forward with its plan to remove a statue of Confederate General, uh, Confederate General Robert E. Lee. Hello, thanks for being here. I'm Doug Dunbar, in today for Ken Molestina. And I'm Gilma Avalos. But unlike yesterday when we saw cranes and crews arrive nearly immediately after the decision was made, we've now learned the city will take its time. R.C. Pickett was in a federal courtroom where a judge made the ruling. He joins us live from Lee Park. Well, I can tell you, Gilman and Doug, that things haven't changed much here because crowds still gather here uh, in anticipation of those crews that were here yesterday to come back to this very location. But as you mentioned, this dismantling of this statue, it won't happen uh, just yet. It was Judge Sidney Fitzwater saying earlier today he saw no indication the city uh, blocked due process or violated anyone's rights in their vote had discussion to immediately remove the Robert E. Lee monument from this park. A Dallas man tied to the Sons of Confederate Veterans asked the court to halt the statue removal. And the judge said the plaintiffs failed to show any proof of their right of uh, free speech was actually blocked during the council meeting that determined the fate of this statue. The city has said they would remove it and store this statue, but today was Mayor Pro Tem Dwayne Carraway right after this court ruling who says the crane to move this monument won't be coming today. We will allow some time to, to get ourselves together and begin to determine uh, what the next move will be. Uh, the statue will eventually be removed when we will not be able to say at this point, but uh, we have no restrictions in order to our time frame. Well, it's a part of history, and history can be good, bad, and the ugly. Tearing it down doesn't make the ugly go away. Uh, and those voices on both sides of this equation, this debate, they are still here present, uh, still going forward in their debates and arguments about this. Ironically, a task force on Confederate monuments for the city of Dallas, it is established. There's a meeting here at 6 o'clock this evening to discuss the other statues and monuments in this city and their future. But as it stands right now, this one, based on this council vote yesterday, at some point in time, will come down. Reporting live, Steve Pickett, CBS 11 News.